Alright then guys, welcome back. Episode number 4 of my FIFA 20 playthrough of my career mode, obviously with Grimsby Town. Now, i just like to take a moment and appreciate all of the feedback that I've been getting on the first couple of episodes. Um, I realise that they've been kind of long and, and a lot longer than I wanted them to be. I know that they've all been, you know, above 15 minutes and I'm trying to gonna bring that back down uh, in this episode hopefully uh, I'm trying to aim for that 10 minute mark because I know that a lot of people's attention you know it does drop away um, and even for me watching them back it, it does get a bit dull listening to myself speak maybe but anyway without further ado guys so I did get a comment on my last video I believe uh, to go ahead and scout this uh, Man United youngster James Garner you can see he's a CDM uh, and if we have a look at him comes in at 63 rated 18 years old as well relatively tall for his age I'd say you know six foot um, he could be quite a good useful player in the middle of the pitch um, what I have done uh, though before I started recording I did just sim forward a couple of games obviously we played two games in our last episode and one right at the end so you know we played quite a few games um, last time out so we did sim forward a couple of uh, a couple of games and what it means is basically I've simmed forward to the point where I'm actually out of the transfer window. Um, you can see we are just at the start of September, September 7th. Um, so unfortunately, no more signings are going to be happening until the January transfer window. But certainly, he's going to be one to keep an eye on. Um, if we just scroll across as well, what I have done is I've uh, employed a youth scout. Now, the youth scouts normally, or before, they used to be, you know, it used to be quite easy to get a half decent scout in your team. If I just go here and try and hire another scout, you can quite clearly see that there, there is quite a massive step change. Now, when I was looking at this before, I had two one stars and I had everyone else was just well out of my budget. What I have seen is that there's someone who's, you know, three star experience, two star judgment. I might actually right now, I mean, we've got plenty of money to cover that and I might actually go in and just, you know, recruit another one. Why the hell not? Only 135,000. Let's go ahead. Okay then guys, so as I said, we did sim forward a couple of games. Now the last game that we played in uh, last episode was of course that absolutely amazing performance. 4-0 win at home. Our first uh, home win that we did play uh, in this career mode. And you can see, yes, as I say, we won it 4-0 against Colchester. So we simmed forward, came up against Port Vale again in the league. Uh, and thankfully, I don't know what happened. I don't know, you know, what 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 has happened to the team and maybe they've actually started to decide that they wanted to perform for me whilst I was in the games because as you can see we won that 2-0 uh, at home against Port Vale um, I think Torres scored in that and I think maybe uh, Green scored in that as well so absolutely amazing performance from the guys we then moved on to our another game in EFL League 2 and again you can see I mean my sort of victory celebration was short-lived really we came up against Walsall away from home 2-0 loss uh, maybe our away form isn't as good as we would hope it would be but as I say guys it's away from home I don't know where Walsall were in the table but you know a 2-0 loss it's disappointing but I can live with it then we came up against um, so we actually played I think it's what they call a Johnson's paint trophy I don't know what it's called anymore uh, le leasing.com trophy I didn't know it got rebranded to that but as you can see we simmed that game in the cup and we came away winners 1-0 uh, at home again so our home form seems to be picking up quite a bit but we won that 1-0 um, at home against Crawley Town. Our next game then that we're going to play get right into in EFL League 2 is a home game so hopefully our home form can continue against Crew Alexandra. Right then guys here we go let's get things kicked off here in this EFL League 2 game at home against Crew. Hopefully we can carry on with our insanely good uh, home form that we have been seeing in some of the sim games and of course the games that we have played as well. So we've made a few changes to the squad. We have been doing training in the background as well. Here comes Torres now on that far side. Look at that cross in. You see him, you see him. Easy, easy. Oh, come on. What's going on? Green, what are you doing? That's it, Cook. You're through. You're through, Cook. Come on. Oh, yes. Easy as you like. Come on. First goal. Just after the 15 minute mark, get in. You see that, Stevens is wide. Let's see if the crossing works. Oh my word, oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna stop crossing from now on because it just looks as if it's just a completely stupid thing that is not fixed in the game yet, so. Here we go, nice whipped in corner. Goalkeeper, uh, uh, something happened. Oh my word. He's onside, you're onside. Don't cross. Oh, he's off, come on. Torres there's no way he's definitely level oh come on look oh 
Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? He's... Oh. Alright then guys, here we go, back in the second half. Now I did notice in that first half, I think, I don't know, something was going on with the lighting on my face cam and it just looked really, really dark, uh, so I apologise for that. But without further ado, let's get straight back into it. Here we go, here we go, Cook to Green. Who's that Hassan fella? Hey, Hewitt! Hewitt! Yes, come on! Hewitt proving to be somewhat of an unsung hero really in this team so far you know he's absolutely amazing he scored a couple of goals for us in the last episode uh, I believe or he scored at least one and I wasn't a particularly a fan of him to start with but he has certainly proven me wrong look at him makes a brilliant run forward right footed shot down to the goalkeeper's left hand side absolutely amazing goal there come on 2-0 all right and guys so we've made a couple of substitutions White House has come on for Hessenfeller and Cook has gone off for Ogbu Ogbu! Oh, almost an immediate impact there. Again, goalkeeper makes another fine save. I think without him, it could easily be, you know, 3 or 4-0. Yeah, smart save from the goalkeeper at his near post. Torres plays it to Ogbu. Sees Whitehouse making the run. Whitehouse! Oh, there we go. Golasso, number three. Come on. Our, our midfielders have been putting in an absolute shift today as well. Three out of minutes. Of extra time here. Can Ogbu make it four? Oh, yes, he can. Come on. Ogbu with the finesse shot. Cut him back in on his left foot. Phenomenal performance once again from the boys. Can't really complain. That's it. Everyone go over in celebration. In front of the home fans again. Another 4 0 home win. Look at this. Takes in his stride. Cut back inside. Left footed shot. I mean, goalkeeper perhaps should be doing better. It was just above him, but can't really complain about that. Come on. 4 0. Just a couple of questions for you. We were expecting a uh, more competitive match out there today. Were you? It was not much of a challenge for us at all. You might need to raise your expectations of us. We were unstoppable and it was clear right from the off. Comfortable win after four goals scored by Grimsy Town. Do you think the game could have gone any other way today? Both the result and the scoreline were well deserved in my opinion. We gave Crew Alexandra no chance and could have easily scored more. Adebisi was one of the best players of the opposition today. How difficult was it to find the way past Crew's defensive lineup? We just played our game. We believed in our own ability and we didn't make any special plans to deal with Adebisi. Yeah, no further questions, thanks. Alright then guys, so we have simmed forward a couple of games now and we just got a message from the youth scout that we did sign. Hey boss, attached as my scouting report for this month, please review and let me know which prospects to stop scouting, who you would like to keep scouting further and those you wish to sign to the youth squad. So, I'm a bit apprehensive about this, obviously he was only one star in both judgement and uh, knowledge so I don't know if he's going to give us anyone good, let's go ahead check it out, see who he's brought back for us. So we've got Ethan Wright, 15 year old. Overall 40 to 54, potential 52 to 70. Uh, I mean, we'll leave him in there. He is quite young, but it, we still don't know what position he plays in. He can pretty much play either left back, right back, or any of those positions on screen. Again, that sort of overall. I'm hoping that 40 moves up a bit, and I'm hoping that 52 maybe turns into a 60 because then he could be worth signing. But uh, it's a bit lackluster. But again, like I say, I wasn't really expecting anything. And then we've got Jordan Edwards, ah oh, come on guys, 39 to 55, again similar positions, potential maybe slightly higher but again that is really, you know, it's really prone to change uh, very early on and again with judgement one star he's not going to be scouting the best quality players. Um, yeah, I guess what, the only thing we can really do is just leave them as they are. Um, Maybe they might be prove, uh, proved to be quite useful signings in terms of, you know, a backup potential or rotation potential and just providing us squad depth. And of course, we do still have uh, some of the objectives uh, for this season are to do with our youth squad. Um, so it might be worth just, you know, signing up one of these guys, um, even if they're not that great, and then just, you know, playing them or subbing them on. Uh, in a couple of games just to you know try and fulfill those objectives and keep the board happy so yeah not the best but what can I say all right then guys so we have some forward a couple more games now as you can see on the screen we did actually only play one game in September and I'm not actually feeling too bad about that because that game at the start of the episode we won that 4-0 we then came up against Oldham uh, Oldham Town or Oldham Athletics sorry 
in the league again. And yeah, we won 3-2 away from home. I was surprised. I think Green scored two goals in that game. And I think maybe Hansen might have gotten one as well. But what a game that was. Uh, five goals in total. We came away winners 3-2. Even, what's even more surprising is that it was away from home. You know, we haven't been looking too great on the road. Then we come up against Salford City FC in the league again. We won away again. I mean... I honestly don't know, I wasn't doing anything special, I didn't change the tactics, I didn't do anything like that. I maybe rotate the squad a bit, but you know, two away wins in a row, not really going to complain about that. We then came up against Macclesfield Town, and again, we won. This time at home, I honestly don't know what's going on at the moment, um, just seems like we can't stop winning, but again, not going to complain. Always going to be happy with all three points. So there you have it, guys. We won three games in a row. Then we came up against Exeter City FC in the final game in September. We simmed that one as well. And unfortunately, we did lose that. Away from home, 2-0. I mean, you know, four-game winning streak, five-game winning streak, if you count, of course, the game that we simmed against Crawley Town in, the, um, in, the, uh, in, in that cup game as well. So can't really complain about five wins on the bounce. Uh, especially when we're getting points away from home as well. Unfortunately, it did come to an end, as I say, away from home against Exeter. But I'm not really feeling too bad about that. Okay, so we simmed through September. We are actually looking pretty good in the league. The next game that we're going to play at the start of the next episode is going to be the home game against Mansfield. Like I say, guys, let's just go ahead and quickly check out the season standing as it stands at the moment in EFL League 2. So there you guys go. We are actually fairly near the top of the table, as you can see. I mean, Scunthorpe United are first, Stevenage, Walsall, and then there's our Scream Street Town. We've played 11 games now. We've won seven. We still haven't got a draw, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, we've lost four, or at least we haven't got a draw in the league. We did draw in the EFL Cup, I believe, and lose on penalties. But scored 20 goals, conceded 10, 21 points, you know, plus 10 goal difference. Basically, level with Walsall, or in terms of the, the goals for and the goals against. I mean, could uh, show up our defence a bit more, but you know, when we're so free-flowing going forward and the amount of goals that we're getting, I can't really complain. Um, and I mean, the board really only expected us to finish mid-table this year. So again, I don't really have any complaints. If we can sim like that and, you know, just continually win games, it takes pressure off me to actually perform well in the games that we do play. Maybe we might need to turn up the difficulty a bit, but hey guys, absolutely amazing performance so far from Grimsby Town as we go into October as well so we're getting into the real nitty-gritty part of the uh, of the season as we then move forward to to the Christmas period but guys I'm gonna leave it there um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you do uh, please do leave a like um, and if you're new around here and if you've made it this far into the video hit that subscribe button all the support is very much appreciated but for now guys I will see you in the next episode